Yes, right, we're gonna get on to um, our brick wall art, and I'm sure you're wondering what on earth brick wall art is. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture of um, some final pictures as I talk right now. Um, the things that you need are um, a couple magazines, um, whatever you have at home, National Geographic, trail runs. If you don't have anything, you can use your printer and print out something for it, and I'll tell you at the end what you're looking for. In the meantime, what you need is an A3 piece of paper or an A4 piece of paper. You need a pencil and an eraser and a ruler. And the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna start off with them. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a crack, what looks like a crack in a wall, okay? So I'm gonna do kind of like a abstracty sort of piece. And you'll see that some of my points are coming to um, an angle or at least they're coming to a point here. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little crack and I'm gonna have a little crack. So every angle over here, I'm gonna have like a little bit of a crack on the wall, like this. And then I'm gonna do little fragments coming off that. Um, and you can do it any which way you want. Okay, right, now that I've done all my cracks, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna kinda of do little, um, uh, I don't know what you would call that, like little bits of encapsulation. It's like kind of peeling back. So I'm just doing like little lines basically right next to my other little line. And I'm creating kind of like pockets where um, the, the concrete is peeled away or the plaster is peeled away. Okay, right. So once you finish this, you are going to come back and build on top of this, but basically that's the kind of shape I've used. Can you guys see I've also used as much of the page as I can possibly. So now the next part of this is we are going to um, do the brick wall. So this is where your ruler comes in. So what I want you to, to do is to lay your ruler um, parallel to the edge of your page here so that you know it's straight. And then you are going to draw lines in like this. And what you need to do is you just need to estimate your lines so that they all end up being the same sort of size apart. Okay, right, so all of my lines here are correct um, and they're all similar lengths apart. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna create a brick and how you do that is you're going to, um, you're gonna make the bricks in alternate layers. So you're gonna start with your very first layer and you are going to draw a line going up your line there. And so now what the idea is, is you're gonna take the same sort of space and draw another line over here, okay? So there's one, two, three bricks, okay? But when people lay bricks to try and strengthen the walls, they make sure that the other brick underneath it is halfway between two bricks, okay? So my next brick line is actually gonna be in the middle of this brick and in the middle of that brick. So I'm gonna draw a line going down like that and another line over here. So can you see my bricks now are developing? So if I'm looking at this line over here, my next line's gonna be in the middle over there and in the middle of this one over here. So I'm gonna draw a line here and I'm gonna draw a line here and try and connect it up to the same space line as you go because the bricks will be in line. So there's my next one. I'm gonna make a line there. And I didn't do one this time because I couldn't, so let's do another line over there. Okay, so. Okay, so did you guys see how I did that? We did the lines first, and then we did, um, we started off for the first one in here. And I've given them like good spaces in terms of the bricks. When you've done your first line, then it's pretty easy. Then you put a line in the middle of the brick, a line in the middle of the brick, a line in the middle of the brick, and so on and so forth until you have your background here. Okay, so once you've done that, then you can have a look in your um, magazines and um, you'll be able to find an image. And the, the image that I'm gonna use is, um, is a, little, a little monkey, because I thought he was so cute. Um, and uh, I'm going to take him out. So I pull him out here. So there's my cute little monkey, isn't he adorable? So you can find an animal, you can find something, anything you like. The reason why I like this one is because I want to tuck him into the corner. So it looks like he's peeking out from behind the, in front of the brick, but behind the plaster. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm very carefully, very, very carefully gonna cut out my whole monkey. And then I'm gonna place him on here. And then we're gonna talk about the shading after that. 
So guys, um, what's important to remember is that when you're choosing an image, you can make it come out of the wall as well, which is quite cute. That car was driving out, this little kitty cat is like, looks like it's peeking over, and this dog, you can see it's one paw is out. So bear that in mind, to make it look more 3D, you can do that. Okay guys, so I've cut my monkey out. Um, I realized that possibly having the monkey on black was probably a silly idea. Um, and you should try and look for an animal that doesn't necessarily have black because it makes it quite difficult to cut out. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is that now that I've got my little animal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pencil and now it comes into the bits of shading that you need to do. So underneath here, you need to colour in a little bit with your pencil and just fade it out a little bit as you go. So you're going to do a little bit of shading here and then go lighter, 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 lighter with your pencil and you're going to do that all the way around. Okay guys, can you see that just adding that little bit of shadow over there makes it look like this is peeling back a little bit. Okay, so now what you can do is you can come back in here and I want you to just give your bricks a little bit of attention as well because these bricks obviously are um, not all perfect, otherwise it won't look real. So we're just going to add a little bit of shadow around each corner of the brick. Okay, right, so there's my little bricks. I'm gonna try and squeeze him in here so that I don't see the edge of him, do you see that? So I'm gonna do it that way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this up to, um, I'm just gonna draw along the side here really, uh, just so I can see where I'm supposed to put it. And then I can cut off the pieces that I don't need. Okay, right, and then we're going to stick this little guy down. Alright, right guys, so when you've just stuck down your piece, I just need you to find like a black big pen or a gel point pen, whatever you have at home. And then you're just going to do a nice kind of like fine line just around the edges, onto your little cracks. Um, just to sort of outline it in a nice way. Please don't use a big thick marker because otherwise it will not look as real. Okay, right. So the next thing that you need to do is that wherever you've stuck your image, you now need to do a little shadow for me underneath your um, animal, because uh, that's going to make it look 3D. And then just use your finger again and come back in here. I wouldn't normally get you to use your finger, but because we don't have the right kind of pencils, um, I can't get you to shade properly. So once you've done this, guys, what you can do is you can do a little bit of color around the edges, but if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine, you don't need to. Um, otherwise, uh, you're finished. This is your break-free uh, wall art uh, artwork, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay, well done, guys.